hi guys this is angel from simply angel tier this video today will be uh, on how to make a coaster i'll be using these two colors that you see on the screen here which is this green color and this red color and it's because i want to make it christmas theme coasters uh, as well i'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook and i'll also be needing a scissors to cut my yarn so i'll put these away so i can show you exactly what i'm talking about so um, I made this a sample already of the course that I'll be showing you guys how to do today. So that is pretty much what we'll be making together. It's very simple. It's going to go really fast. Uh, and also because I made a table mat uh, in my previous video and this is what it looks like here. And this is pretty much I'm making this course to match it. So this is going to be my set, which is a holiday type um, uh, coaster and placemat. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched this video yet, click on my channel and uh, watch this video if you want to uh, learn how to do the table mat. Um, as well, this video will be how to do the coaster. So again, I'm making this as a set. And the reason I'm doing the videos separately is because just in case you want to do just the coaster, you, you should be able to just go to this video and do the coaster. And if you want to do the placemat alone and not care about the coaster, then you can just kind of go on, on the video about the placemat and do that video and, and do your project based on that video. So I do not want to combine this as one video just in case uh, you're looking to do one or the other. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. So let's get started. So again, just quickly, let me bring this back onto the screen here. So as you can see, I made the majority of this table mat in the color green, and I ended up doing the borders in red. With the coaster, just kind of to make it a little bit exciting, I actually reversed the colors. So the main uh, circle here is going to be in red for the coaster, and then just a little bit of a decoration with the green on the ending, okay? So this is why I'm starting off with this, as opposed to start off with the green that I had um, started with in the, um, in the placemat video, okay? So uh, now that you have all the stuff that you need to start get this video started, uh, we're going to start by pretty much doing almost the exact same thing that we did with the uh, plate mat or the table mat, which is to do a magic circle, okay? So we're gonna take our crochet hook we create our magic circle by doing this, at least for me, this is how I create my magic circle. I put the hook through, I bring it in. Okay, now I have this space here that I'll keep holding with my thumb and my middle finger to keep it open. And then while I have that space here, I'm going to chain two, so one and two. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll put 14 double crochets in this space here and this chain two counts as the first. So I will do 13 double crochets to make it 14 total, including the chain two. Okay, so this is just what you're gonna do for this. Okay. So I have a total of four double crochets here, including the chain two that we just did. And you're going to do 10 more. So go ahead and catch up and then uh, come back to the video and I will show you how to do the second round of this project. Okay, so I have my 14 double crochets in the magic circle. And so we will see why we call it a magic circle because what you will do is this hanging strand where we started off with our, our um, magic circle. If you pull that like this, you end up closing up the magic in the, in the middle. And you just have a nice, nice uh, circle like that, okay? So now that I have completed the first row, what I will do is I will need to connect this part of my work to this. And to do that, I just go on top of the first chain two that we did, which created our first uh, double crochet. And we're going to do a slip stitch right there like that, okay? 
So now it's a complete circle as you can see here. And to start row two, we're going to do a chain of two. So one, two. And then in that very same um, space, same stitch, we're going to do a double crochet there. And in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, so what you will do for this second row is you continue to do two double crochets in each stitch all the way until you get to this last stitch here. And because we're essentially doubling up, we're going to have 28 in the second row, we're going to have 28 stitches because we had 14 here. And now we're doubling up by doing two per stitch, which will give us 28 uh, total. So if you're doubting if you have the right number of stitches, then you will count to make sure you have 28 in the second row. But go ahead and do it all the way to here. When you have your last two double crochets in this space, then come back and we will go ahead and connect and then start our third row. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so this is the end of my row two. So I have 28 stitches here because we did two double crochets in each stitch around the 14 uh, stitches that we had from the 14 double crochets okay and now to go ahead and set our third row we're going to slip stitch in the top uh, chain of the two chains we did when we started this row which is just right here okay so we're going to do a slip stitch there and that closes the circle completely and makes a full circle and then for our third row which is also our final row of this color we're going to do chain two, one, two. And then in that very same stage, we're going to do a double crochet. Just like that, okay. And then we're going to move on to the next stage, which is this stitch here. We're going to do one double crochet in that stitch, like that. We'll move on to the next stage where we will do two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's one and two okay just like that and then in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch okay so again as you can see here we're pretty much going to repeat this all around this so which is the, the third row and so go ahead and do this where we do two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet in one stitch, two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet in one stitch. And that will bring you all the way to this last stitch here. When you get here, come back to the video and I will show you guys how to fasten that off and start our um, fourth and fifth row for the, with the green color. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so we are at the end of our third row here, okay? So what we will do, I just did my last uh, the two double crochets in this final stitch here. And so what I'll do is I'll do the same thing we did in the previous row, which is to slip stitch in the top stitch uh, of the chain two that we did previously, just like that, okay? And now that we have the, the, um, the final row of the red, we're just going to take our um, scissors and just cut the yarn about there okay and then we're going to um, connect our green color and so what I'll do here is um, I will slip stitch 
this and then fasten it off like that and then we are going to go ahead and connect the green color and to do that we're just going to do a slip stitch first or slip knot I should say and then slip stitch it to the project so let's do that right now so we're going to do a slip knot which is like that Okay, put it so that it's tight like that and then you will take just right where we ended this project make sure your red strand that's hanging is in the back of the work like this and in that same stage you're going to slip stitch the green color like that okay so there you go so you just connected that so both of these yarns are in the back and we're going to fasten it off at the end and now that you have that you're going to chain one okay and in that very same stage we're going to do a single crochet just like that okay then you're going to chain one you're going to skip this stitch right here and in this next stitch this one you're going to do a single crochet first and then a second single crochet in that same stitch you're going to chain one skip one stitch in the next stitch do two single crochets so one and two and then chain one skip one stitch in the next stitch do a two single crochets so one and two okay so you get the idea here so we're going to go around this whole circle here by doing the exact same pattern that we just did here and so when you get to this very end stitch here come back and I'll show you guys how to start the second row of this green color so go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys in a bit hi guys so I went around my circle here doing the green and now that I am just right about done this row so I'm going to do one more here so I've already done my chain one with the green and so this is the last stitch here where I'm going to be doing my um, double crochet so I'm just gonna go right into there so that's one and then two okay just like that okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the top of the green just like that okay so that closes off the circle for this first row of the green color but we want to do one more row we could probably you could leave it like this if you're satisfied with it just being like that it's quite cute so you don't have to do the second row but I just do one more row of this green to make it a little bit wider so it's up to you if you want to end your project here you can just cut the end and fasten off but what I will do is I will add one more row and how to do the second row I'm going to chain two one two and in this very stitch here I'm going to do two double crochet, uh, two single crochets in that space. Okay. Then I'm going to chain two in this next gap. So this is all where we did a chain one in the previous row. I'm going to do two, uh, two single crochets in there. And I'm going to chain two. And in this next gap again, which is the chain one from the previous row, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. Okay. So you're going to do that all around. So as you can see, it just makes this a little bit thicker there. So we're just doing the same thing as we did here, but instead of a chain one, we're doing a chain two for the second row. Okay. So go ahead and do this all around again when you get to this very end here come back and we will pretty much finish off the project okay so see you in a bit hey guys so this is the end of my second row of the green color or fifth row of the whole project if you're counting it like that so i just did my chain two here and then did my two single crochets in this gap and then now to finish it off i'm going to do chain two and then slip stitch in the very end which is also the beginning of the previous row we're just going to slip stitch there like that okay so that is the end so what we're going to do here is just cut our yarn somewhere here it's fine okay and then you're going to bring that in 
oopsie there you go and fasten it like that okay so that's it there um, so the only thing that's left for us to do is to fasten off the yarns and cut it off so if you're like somebody who weaves in your ends first of all you would have cut this yarn and leave a longer strand because it's easier to work with a longer strand if you're weaving it in with your darning needle or your stitch, uh, stitch needle stitching needle but because I just cut it off and I just tuck in the little tail that's left with my finger into the stitch, I don't bother to weave it in. I'm not a big fan of weaving things in because I struggle so much with just the whole process. So I don't actually like it that much. So I prefer this method that I use and it usually works out pretty good. Okay, and I'll go ahead and turn the work around on this side as well. So this is the tail that is coming from the middle from our magic circle earlier. And what I will do there as well is fasten it off like this. So do a knot. And because it's the main foundation of our work, I will do two knots just to make sure it's super secure. Okay, like that. And then I'll cut that off here as well. And you just take a second and play with that little knot and tuck it in. So if you look at it, it doesn't actually end up showing. You just kind of do a good job like that. You tuck it in. It doesn't look like it's there at all. And so last but not least, we do the same with these two here, which is the connection of our red to the green. Okay. Or the, yeah, the red to the green there. So I will do this type of a knot here instead of the other type that I just did. Now that I have that, I will go ahead and cut the yarn right there and then cut these right here. Okay. And that's it. So look at this. Isn't this cute you guys? So this is pretty much the end of the project. So if I can bring this back in. So this is the one that I had just done. So this is two. I actually have two over there that I already did because I did a set of four. And I have three of these that I also just did. So I have a set of four for this as well. So this is pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, also, like I said earlier in the video, uh, go and click on this video, which is to make the actual uh, table mat. And then, because uh, I think having this set together is actually really cute. Um, but if you're a crochet and you want to make this as a present, I think this would be the best time to start working on things like this. Somebody could really use this as a Christmas present so they can actually use it during the holidays. But yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much the end of the video here. Thank you so much again for joining me, you guys. Before you leave though, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment if you have anything to say about this video. Maybe a tip for me, an advice for me. Um, or just say something that you think you would like me to know. I would appreciate that. Also share this video with your friends so they see what's going on around crocheting world and things like that and maybe they would like to learn how to crochet as well. Thank you so much again and I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao, ciao.